Today I'll be showing you the sauciest beef matoke recipe ever. The meat is super tender and the green bananas are cooked perfection and also very flavorful. It's going to be a short video, but it's totally watching until the end so that you can learn how to make this delicious recipe. You'll need a few ingredients which you're going to find in the description box and also you're going to need some green bananas. For this recipe, I'm going to be using some beef. So this is 500 grams of beef. Also, you'll need a pressure cooker. Mine is ready over here for boiling my meat. So I'm going to add in my beef in my pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you're going to be boiling your meat until tender. To boil my meat, I'm going to add in a cup of water. Adding some crushed garlic and ginger. This is to add some flavor to our beef. Cover and secure the lid and boil for around three whistles. After three whistles, you're going to manually release the pressure from the pot. Then you're going to open. This is how my beef is looking and it's cooked to perfection and very tender. So I'm going to place aside and pick another pot for making my beef matoke. And over high flames, I'm going to add in some cooking oil, about three tablespoons of cooking oil, add in some onions. Start the onions in the cooking oil and cook until golden brown. When the onions are browning just like this, you're going to add in your carrots, tomatoes, stir in. Add in some spices, so I have some beef masala, peri-peri seasoning, cumin seeds, and two beef seasoning cubes. Stir in. Add in tomato paste. Add in a splash of water so that the tomatoes can fully cook. Cover and cook for around two minutes of a medium low flame. So the beef masala and peri peri seasoning are going to add a lot of flavor since they are a combination of several spices and also the cumin. Oh my, if you're cooking each time, add some cumin and the dish is going to be very delicious. I love adding cumin to everything. So also I've added two beef seasoning cubes so that they can add some extra beef flavor to our matoke. Check on my tomatoes. The aroma in the kitchen is absolutely amazing. This is the first step to creating a delicious sauce for our green bananas. So I'm going to add back my meat. Stir in. Cook your meat for around two minutes so that it can soak in the delicious spices and flavors from our tomatoes. And I added the beef together with the beef broth that was in the pressure cooker. So don't get rid of that. That is full. That broth is full of flavor. After two minutes, you're going to check on your pot. Everything is looking very lovely and delicious. So the next step is to add in my green bananas, which I've drained off the water. 
so slowly i'm going to place in my green bananas in the pots add in around four cups of water cover and simmer on low for around five to ten minutes or until the green bananas are ready i love making easy one pot recipes just like this one and always the matoke turns out very delicious as you peel your green bananas you will notice that they'll start to oxidize so the trick to stop oxidization is to place the green bananas in water after five minutes you're going to check on your pots and this is how my beef and green bananas are looking so far so you're going to stir and at this point you're going to check if the seasoning is perfect if it's not perfect you're going to add in some more salt so that your green bananas can turn out amazing this is after 10 minutes and my beef and green bananas are looking very delicious the matoke are starting to break apart that means that the green bananas are ready so i'm going to give my green bananas to stir one more time before they start to completely break down you may think that this is a lot of water which i've used to boil my matoke but watch over your matoke because they'll stick to the bottom part of your pot and you don't want that so add enough water while the matoke or the green bananas cook Add in some green capsicum. Give my green bananas a stir. Add in some coriander. Stir in. My beefy green bananas are beautifully cooked and looking very perfect. The beef is tender and the green bananas are also soft and very flavorful. This is a dish worth trying. So if you don't have some green bananas, rush to the market and buy yourself some green bananas. Make this easy recipe and your family will be truly happy to have some delicious meal.